everyone. I hope you're doing great. I just wanted to come on and kind of introduce myself. I know we have a lot of new followers and I'm so grateful for that. And maybe you don't really know my story or kind of what I'm about. And so I just kind of want to share a little bit about me just to let you in on my life and what's important to me. I am a wife to my high school sweetheart. We've been together since I was 16. I am a mom to three kids, Austin who's 12, Mason 10, Addison 8. We live a crazy, hectic life. We also run a farm, which my grandfather started 55 years ago. So not only am I a farmer's wife, I'm a farmer's daughter. So I think I learned a lot of my hard work ethic by watching my grandfather, by watching my dad, and just a whole, that's a whole nother training and a whole nother story. Um, I live in Miami, Florida, and I'm a senior national sales director. I actually became the youngest national sales director at the age of 26 in Mary Kay Cosmetics, and I'm a beauty influencer, and um, just wanted to kind of share with you my story. So I want to tell you a little bit about how I came into Mary Kay, what attracted me, um, kind of how it worked for me, and what I love about it today. So you guys, I started my business when I was 22 as a baby. I had just graduated with my degree in elementary education, came home from the University of Florida, and I went to an event with my high school friend and literally went there and met this woman by the name of Joanne Bertolin. And she, has her, she had her three daughters helping her at the meeting and they were having so much fun. And she talked about the philosophy of the company and she said that the philosophy of Mary Kay was putting your faith first, your family second, and your career third. And I thought, wow, that aligns to all the values that I've ever wanted in a company. And I never thought of starting my own business because I was shy, I had no business experience, and I'm kind of a safety and security personality. So I didn't want to put a lot of money out and not reap those rewards. And so as I sat there, I thought, well, it's only $100 to join. Um, you know, I'm helping women feel beautiful, look beautiful, enrich their lives. I probably already spend already $600 a year on skincare and color anyway. If I'm gonna be able to get half off, why would I not do this? Or think of this a little bit more seriously. So I came home to tell my friends and family and they thought I was crazy, especially after my parents had spent $60,000 on my college education, but I was committed and I believe that God had put me in that room for a reason. And so I started off just like sprinkling it into my everyday life. I was teaching full time tutoring after school as most teachers do to make extra money. And I was planning a wedding with my high school sweetheart. So I took about six to eight hours just to start building my business. And you guys, within three months, I had earned my first car. And so literally, literally within six months, I left teaching to do Mary Kay full time. And I kind of came in at a time where direct selling was not really that big of a deal in network marketing. And so um, a lot of those in Mary Kay were probably 30 and up. And so I was kind of like that young, young girl didn't really have a place. And so, um, but my thought process was, well, God led me to this. Why not treat this really seriously young so that when I have a family later on, it's working for me. And so I'm really grateful that I took it so seriously at a young age. And so really from 22 to 26, I built a very solid organization. I worked about 40 to 60 hours a week for four years. And I always say, I'd rather work for four years really, really hard than work for somebody else for 30 or 40 years. And so, you know, that was my thing. I lived in my vision and not in my reality. And I would visualize where I wanted to live, where I wanted my kids to go to school, where I wanted to travel. I knew that it would all be worth it. Were there days that I doubted myself or I thought, is this ever going to pan out? Like, is this really ever going to work? Or, you know, we all get rejection in sales or you know, you have those doubters or naysayers or those times where you're like, really, do you really think you can do it? And I just kept going. I just kept focusing. I just kept putting one foot in front of the other and just stayed committed and consistent and kept dreaming and didn't just jump ship or go over here because there was something new or better or over here. I really just kept that one singular focus and kept clear and really um, aligned myself to God and um, my senior mentors that were where I wanted to be and my husband and people like my dad. Um, my dad was a businessman and I really um, respected what he had to say. And so literally, you guys, within four years, I'd become the youngest national sales director in all of Mary Kay. And of course, I, I had the rejection. I had the no-shows. I had team members that joined that decided that this wasn't for them. And But I just kept going. And I think that's the biggest advice I could give you in any business that you're in, whether it's 
Mary Kay or any network marketing company or starting your own business, stay focused, keep going. Um, some of us, we want, we want the rewards right away. It doesn't happen like that. Anything worthwhile takes time, right? You're having a baby, it takes nine months, right? You have a strong relationship or an amazing marriage or incredible kids, that's because you poured that time and effort. It doesn't just happen overnight. And I think that in our society, it's such a microwave society, everybody wants everything instantly. It takes time, right? And so it took time and I'm just, I'm so grateful that I believe that God aligned me to this business and I believe that he put me in this company because my role was to really remind women of their passion, of their purpose, that they could do this at any age and um, that you didn't have to wait forever to be successful. And I really feel that I ignite passion in people and influence and just remind them how powerful they are. Um, I believe that those are the gifts that, that God gave me. And so, you know, um, the things that have come out of my business, I would probably say the biggest thing is confidence. Um, I was really shy when I first started. That's my dog, by the way. Um, I was really shy when I first started. You can ask all my friends and family. I didn't like speaking in front of groups. Now, I did have leadership abilities, but I was hiding them. Like, I had a great voice, so I didn't try out for the solo, or I was a cheerleader, but I never tried out to be the captain. Um, you know, so I had all these leadership abilities hidden, and Mary Kay really helped bring it out. And so I love the confidence that it instills in women. And so I believe that at whatever age, sometimes you can lose that confidence throughout life, whether it's having children or you forgot how powerful you are. And so it really helps, you know, raise up that confidence. And I believe when a woman is confident, she raises up her family's confidence, um, the communities, her friends, her family, and everybody is attracted to a confident person, right? And so I love the confidence that's come out of this. Obviously the earning potential. Um, you guys, um, within, you know, three months I'd earned my first car, within six months my second car, um, my Cadillac within 11 months. Um, we were able to purchase our first townhome as newlyweds that first year, was able to purchase a half million dollar home when I was 24, and at 26, a $1.5 million home. Um, my dream was be, to be able to send my kids to a private Christian school that I went to, that um, a lot of that big vision was instilled in me, which was um, Westminster Christian School. And so my vision, my goal was to be successful, to be able to send our kids to that school, to have choices. I wanted choices. I just wanted choices and options. And I think that's what we want today. We want freedom and flexibility and choices to live where we want, travel where we want, send our kids to school where they want, or whatever your dreams may be. And so um, the Mary Kay's really allowed us to be in the neighborhood that we love and to send our kids to the private Christian school where we act actually met to be able to travel. I love excursions. You know, I'm 39. I'll turn 40 um, next month. I can't believe it. 39 and holding. And, you know, I love to work hard to give my kids experiences. You know, they love to ski. They love to fish. Um, they love <laughs> golf. They love all these expensive sports. And it takes money. And, you know, I want to be able to give them that, those experiences. And, um, and so I love that, you know, I love to work hard for travel and to do things for the home. And, you know, we all have those things that, that drive us. And I always say money doesn't buy happiness, but it does buy you choices and options, doesn't it? It does buy you choices and options. And the other thing I love about our business is you guys, I am the oldest. Um, I have two younger brothers. I have one that's 30 and one that is 22. And so I always longed for sisters. I loved my brothers, but I always longed for sisters. And so I think God knew that I was gonna have thousands of sisters all over the world in my business. And so, so today I have sisters and friends all over the US, all over the world, that no matter what nationality or what language we speak, I can go anywhere and it's like one language, you know, one love. And so I have friends all over that I've met from Mary Kay Cosmetics. And so I love that about that, the sisterhood. You know, nothing put a price tag on that bond, on women, encouraging women, um, encouraging them to do better. I think in our society, sometimes there's that jealousy or that need to compare. And I feel like in our community, I, there's no perfect place, but it's a place of, oh my gosh, you earned your car, that's amazing. Or, oh, you made a $10,000 check this month. That's awesome, how did you do it? Like, it's, it's a go fight win, it's a, that's awesome. I want to do it. You can do it too. We're going to do it together. And I love that. Just cheering each other on. And there's just so many more things that have come out of this business. Um, you know, obviously the freedom. I think we all want freedom to work, what, work when we want, get paid what we're worth, be able to travel when we want, to be able to make the income we want. And when you're in network marketing and direct sales, 
it's literally unlimited the amount of money you can make the earning potential it, like what you put in is what you get out and I've always believed that I'm a hard worker and so you know I want to be compensated for that work obviously the extra prizes you know oh gosh if I looked over the years there was travel and TVs and surround sound and I mean I've traveled all over the world like Hawaii three times and China and Germany and Austria and my kids just came in so um, you know we've traveled all over the world and Mary Kay's paid for that and every year since I'm a national sales director my husband and I get a free trip somewhere in the world that Mary Kay's pays for they pay for our airfare they pay for our excursions our hotel any extra expenses so basically it's almost like a $20,000 trip every single year until I'm 68 years old because I'm a national sales director. And so what company gives you a second honeymoon every single year? And you can bring your husband or your boyfriend or your best friend or whatever you want. And so that is so cool, those experiences you can give. Diamonds, right? We can maybe buy them, but why not earn them? Like, I, don't, I can't, like if I wore all the diamonds I earned from Mary Kay, I'd be like this. Um, cars, I have not had a car payment since I was 22 years old. Today, I drive a beautiful hybrid pink Escalade, and we personally get one every three years or $1,400 cash, and so just cutting out that car payment has been huge for our family. Um, you know, the legacy, the being a part of a legacy company, you know, you can join with any company, but there's something about being a part of a company that has legacy, that has 55 years. Mary Kay's been around 55 years strong, and so I'm kind of, kind of an old soul, and so I liked knowing that I'm a part of a company that has that legacy, that has that longevity. So I knew they knew what they were doing. I know that we were backed behind incredible product. I knew that every woman until they're 100 years old and men would need skincare and color cosmetics. When women are down, what do they turn to? They turn to buying a lip gloss, a mascara, or a foundation. Research shows that, that when women are down, they turn to buying a foundation. Well, I shouldn't say that. When people are down in general, they turn to alcohol, tobacco, or cosmetics. They did a study on it. They turned to three things, alcohol, tobacco, or cosmetics. So I always thought, well, the best out of the three are cosmetics. So why wouldn't, you know, it's such an easy sell, whether you're in a good economy or a bad economy, every woman is gonna wanna buy a moisturizer, a foundation, a lip gloss, and so it's always been very easy to do. So I believe that when you choose a company, you wanna choose a company that aligns with who you are, your beliefs, your, um, your, your motto, who you are. And so I know that I was born to encourage. I knew that I was born to help other women feel good about themselves, to bring out the best in them. I love to meet with a woman and say, you know what, this is what I see in you. This is where I see you can go. And so I will believe in a woman until she believes in herself. And so I tell you this because maybe you've been praying for something or maybe you thought, oh my gosh, what does she do? Like, why is she so happy about what she does? And so you guys, this is makeup missionary work for me. You know, um, I love to enrich women's lives and just remind them how beautiful they are and how God made them. And so I always say, anybody who joins Mary Kay, whether it's for personal use to get your products at half off or to be a part of a positive culture or to do it part-time to make it some extra money and earn a car or whether it's to become a millionaire. And you can, I mean, I've earned over four and a half million dollars in just commission. Um, that's not sales. So I mean, and I'm not saying that to you to brag, I'm saying that it's possible. It can happen because little old me that was shy with no physics, business experience, making 22,000 a year as a private school teacher, decided to take this business seriously and this is where you can go with it. And so um, I just wanted to kind of give you insight to who am I, what do I do? And you guys, I'm very balanced. I don't just do Mary Kay. I am very much a mom. I take my kids to school. I pick them up. Um, I'm home when they're sick. Um, I go to their games. I'm present. I'm at all the parties. Um, I try to balance everything. And that's what I love about owning my own business is that I can call the shots. I can do what I want. I can work when I want. I can be with them when I want. And it's just the best of both worlds. I feel like every day in my world is a Friday. That's kind of how I feel. And so I just want to let you into what I do. And so I'm looking for beauty influencers. I'm looking for women that um, want to make a difference, that want to influence people on Instagram and Instagram story and in their life and make an impact. And if you love 
beauty, and even if you don't love beauty, I mean, I know there's women that are not big makeup people, but they love skincare. You know, this is about skincare. You know, if your skin's not in shape, your color's not gonna go in well, but if you ever wanted to be a beauty influencer to make an impact, to enrich women's lives, this might be the company for you, and I believe that everything rises on and falls on leadership. And so I'd love to mentor and coach you, so let me know if, this, if you would like a little bit more information. Um, I can send it your way, and I'd love to mentor and coach